Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Revelations, game number 4 in the series and the final part of the Ezio trilogy. And I have to admit, I was a bit surprised that there is another Ezio game, because the previous game, Brotherhood, actually ended with quite a, some decent closure for Ezio's story, right? I mean, his enemies were all mostly dead, the Borgia were no longer in control of Rome, um, he found the Apple of Eden and he locked it away, at least for the next 500 years. So that seemed to be a pretty good end to a story, as opposed to the end of the first game, for example, which had like really terrible closure for him, right? I mean, he didn't get any answers to any of his questions, his enemies were still alive. So I kind of got the impression that the first game and Brotherhood at some early stage of their development were supposed to be one story and one game and then it just got cut into half and made into two games at some point. But yeah, a Brotherhood ended pretty well for Ezio and I think if they had just finished his story there, nobody would have complained, right? But there is another Ezio game, so obviously his story will continue in some form. And while Ezio got some decent closure at the end of the previous game, Desmond's story obviously ended with quite a cliffhanger. Uh, because he killed Lucy, uh, presumably under the influence of one of these gods. I just call them gods shorthand, uh, for lack of a better term. Um, I know they're not actually gods, they're some ancient civilization that predated humanity. At least that's the info that I got at the moment. Um, so I hope we will get some answers uh, in that regard. But I'm going to assume we will spend most of our time with Ezio, so um, I guess his story will continue as well. And being the final game of the trilogy, I guess that could mean that he dies at the end, I mean, he's not going to return for another sequel. Then again, um, he lived 500 years ago, so he's dead one way or the other, right? So, I guess um, it, it doesn't really matter, but maybe, maybe we will find out uh, what happened to him in the end. So yeah, I hope uh, we will get some answers about the cliffhanger of the previous game, and I mean, this game is called Revelation, so hopefully they will reveal a lot of stuff that we didn't know already. And yeah, um, that's pretty much all I want to say. Um, let me just uh, give you my usual disclaimers. It's a blind let's play, so please no spoilers in the comment section. If you want to discuss something spoilery with other people uh, in the comments, um, you should put up a spoiler shield before you uh, start talking spoilers so I don't accidentally read it um, and just to be safe obviously this applies to all future Assassin's Creed games as well because I want to play them at some point so please no spoilers for upcoming games either and yeah I always upload um, at the same time at 7 p.m. Central European time and this let's play will upload every other day and on the alternating day I will be starting Life is Strange Before the Storm tomorrow. So yeah, um, I think that's pretty much all I have to uh, say. Let's jump into story mode and let's make a save file. And here we go. We can keep him like this for a few days, maybe a week. Call ahead, tell him we're on our way. As soon as we're clear. Desmond Miles. Your life has changed so much in so little time. Two months ago, you were pouring shots for bankers and celebrities. But now look at you. You're an assassin. One of us. One of the good guys. Isn't that nice? Men and women dedicated to protecting and preserving human life and liberty. 
Not like those Templars. Cold and calculating autocrats, drunk on power, obsessed with order, all that. We're doing our best to stop them. <laughs> yeah. Doing our best. <laughs> but you remember all this, right? You remember the Animus, the machine we used to unravel genetic memories and relive the lives of our ancestors? First, you were Altair, a stoic 12th century assassin from the Holy Land. Then, you are Ezio Auditore, a wealthy Italian with charisma and a talent for revenge. So, what do you three have in common? That's right, the Apple of Eden. <laughs> That strange artifact left behind by those people. The ones who came before. You know the apple's power. You felt it for yourself. <laughs> oh, it's been fun, hasn't it, Desmond? But that's about to change. Your mind is fragmented, falling to pieces. And if you don't find a way to wake up, you may lose yourself forever. <laughs> Okay. okay. I shut down the Animus monitoring system to free up a lot of memory, but even like this, it's still risky. Desmond will be fine. The partition worked, the Animus is stable, and his signs are good. For now. But this was built to recreate memories, not simulate entire cognitive processes. The Animus will do its part, and Desmond will do the rest. That doesn't look good. <laughs> What's happening? I, I can't move. I, I can't. No. Okay, so it seems Hello? we are picking up right where we left off, at least in terms of Desmond's story. So he's still like unconscious and this is like a dream or something the Animus is creating, I'm going to assume. At least it doesn't look real. So yeah, let's uh, look around and see what we can find here. We have some ominous gate or whatever over there, so let's check that out. Just walk right past me. Sixteen? No, they didn't tell you my name. Oh, God damn it, I'm still in the Animus? <laughs> what a shock you suffered out there. Rebecca, get me out of here. They can't help you, Desmond. You're a broken man. Your mind, it's... Broken. Broken. <laughs> I feel fine. So did I. Hey. <laughs> Look at me now. Let's talk, buddy. So the infamous Subject 16 finally gets a face. Speaking of face, Desmond looks different somehow. Walk with me. What is this place? It's nice, isn't it? We're in the guts of the Animus. The original test program. No memories here, just basic physics, weather simulations. Hello, world. You're lucky someone up there had the sense to plug you in here. It saved your life. Saved it from what? Right now, you should be sitting in a hospital ward, drooling and chewing on your tongue. For now, the Animus is keeping you intact. Keeping all your ancestors from collapsing into one big mess. But if you can't find a sync nexus, all those personalities will smash together. That won't be pretty. A, a sink, sink nexus? nexus? Right. I'm getting there. Hold on. <sighs> there. That thing is your way out. You're screwing with me. Here's the problem. Your brain is hash. Too many ghosts in your head, too many voices. So how do you fix that? You claw your way back into the stored data, you find unfinished memories, and you crack them open. Finish what you started, until your ancestor has nothing left to show you. That is a sync nexus. <laughs> and when you find it, the Animus can separate Desmond from Ezio and Altair and send you home. 
back to your body. How do you know all this? Because it happened to me. But my body, it's worm food now. So I'm stuck here. Oh dear. A, a word of warning? When you step through there, everything changes. Nothing feels normal. But you are still in control, and it's up to you to find your way out. Right. If you hurry, you might make it back in time for Lucy's funeral. <coughs> what? Right. Ah! Oh. I thought you knew. Lucy. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was that voice. Juno. She took hold of me. She made me. be honest mr 16 i haven't really understood what you were trying to tell me here except that i have to find old memories and then somehow i can get out of here sean what's going on let me talk to him did you hold on i'm putting you on speaker sean it's william is everything taken care of oh well hello to you too for christ's sakes man have some class <laughs> all right calm down Oh, that's rich. Yeah, Lucy's dead, and you want me to act like it's Easter Sunday, do you? How's Desmond, anyway? Kipping in? That's enough, Sean. What if he's a Templar, Bill? Hey, eh? What if he's been programmed? It's happened before. No, not Desmond. Right. You would say that. <laughs> Sean. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. They are already arguing. Okay, so, um, should I wait here to... See if I hear more dialogue from the outside. Or should I just walk through that portal or whatever it is. And try to get out of here. I mean it doesn't really look like there's much I can do here. Oh, hang on a second. Are these like portals as well? I mean I can kind of see stuff behind them. Like different hallways. Oh dear. There's so many of them. But I like the one down here the most because it's big. So um, I think we're going to check this out first. And I can't see anything behind this one. So let's see. Okay, this must be the right portal because now the game is actually starting. <laughs> you be soft massive. This was basically made everywhere. Claudia, my dearest sister. I have been in Acre a week now, safe and in high spirits, but prepared for the worst. The men and women who have fed and sheltered me here also give me warning that the road to Masyaf is overrun by mercenaries and bandits, not native to this land. What this could mean, I dread to guess. When I first set out from Roma ten months ago, I did so with a single purpose to discover what our father did not. In a letter written the year before my birth, he makes mention of a library hidden beneath the stones of Masyaf Castle, a sanctum full of invaluable wisdom. Ooh. So what will I find when I arrive there? Who will greet me? A host of eager Templars, as I fear most strongly. Or nothing but the whistling of a cold and lonely wind. Masyaf has not been home to the Assassins for almost 300 years now. Can we still claim it for our own? 
are we welcome there? Ah, I am wary of this fight, Claudia. Not because I am tired, but because our struggle seems to move in one direction only. Towards chaos. Today, I have more questions than answers. This is why I've come so far. To find clarity. To find the wisdom left behind by the great Altair. So that I may better understand the purpose of our fight. And my place in it. Should anything happen to me, Claudia, should my skills fail me, or my ambition lead me astray, do not seek retribution or revenge in my memory, but fight to continue the search for truth, so that all may benefit. My story is one of many thousands, and the world will not suffer if it ends too soon. Well, well, Ezio, you've gotten old. <laughs> okay, well, um... That was quite an impressive intro. So apparently Ezio's story is several years in the future from where it ended in Brotherhood. Oh, make your way to Masyaf's central keep. Alright, um, so we're in Masyaf. And I already got my first database entry. Well, we do now Altair, but let's read it anyway. If one man was responsible for changing the face of the modern assassins forever, it was this guy, Altair ibn La'ahad. Born in the Holy Land in 1165 to parents he hardly knew, into an order he did not choose, Altair nevertheless proved himself a devoted pupil and capable fighter before he was out of his teens. In 1189, just as the Third Crusades were gathering steam, Altair stunned even his attentive mentor Al Mualim by almost single handedly rooting a wave of Crusader soldiers from the steps of Mashiav Castle. From that day forward, Altair's name was known to all assassins. Over the next two years, his reputation as a stubborn but deadly fighter eclipsed every minor detail of his mysterious life. Loved by few but admired by all, his impeccable talents were the source of both his incredible successes and his overbearing arrogance. <laughs> but this was only half the story, since youth Altair had shown signs of possessing a rare sixth sense that allowed him unprecedented access to the emotions and intentions of his opponents and allies. Dubbed Eagle Vision by his fellow assassins, Altair honed and perfected his sense in secret, always wondering if this curious ability that sent him a part of the rest would prove a liability. Thanks to the memories stored in Altair's five Masyaf keys, we can now get a good glimpse of the man himself instead of settling for vague glimpses through the Templar's frankly primitive animus. 1.28 avatar projection system. I guess that's uh, the animals from the first game. <laughs> okay. Look everywhere. Come to bottom. I want him so dead. now I have to follow Altair's ghost and I, I need to get used to these controls again because the controls of uh, Assassin's Creed are unique. Oh, now I have to fight, okay. Ooh, uh... Slow motion. Um, okay. I guess I more or less remember all of this.
Right, one of the blades broke. That's a pity. But I got a sword. Okay, um, I guess we're just going to keep on following him. Oh, and now I have to fight a few guys. And, right, I'm supposed to deflect and... Oh, how, how do I do that again, I think? I need to press tap. Let's try to get a few counters. There we go. And is this how you do a kill streak? Yes, this is how you do a kill streak. Still works the same. Okay, okay. I'm I'm starting to learn this again. I mean it's not been that long since I played the last game, but I played other games in between with different controls, so. This is going to be interesting. Okay. My current objectives... Full synchronization, kill a Byzantine Templar with a counter kill. I think I already did that. Okay, I need to jump. Here we go. I didn't remember Mashev being so cold. <laughs> right, jump backwards. So I more or less remember all of this. Right. Oh, 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 yeah. Um. This is something that I have to unlearn because I have been playing Tomb Raider and in Tomb Raider if you wanted to climb a wall that's a bit higher you need to double tap uh, space but in, in this game um, that's going to make Ezio jump backwards <laughs> so that's not good. Um, yes, I, I remember how to do this. <laughs> there we go. So if I want to climb a higher wall I have to just hold space because if I double press space that's going to happen so I have to quickly unlearn that all right um, I guess I'm supposed to kill him now all right by the way is there any point in looting these guys I don't want to carry you along. I want to loot you. I just got 15... whatever. <laughs> I'm not sure what that symbol is supposed to mean. Alright. Press Umschalt to interact. Um, well, you could have waited until, you know, you were sure that your plan worked and that the statue would break the ground. <laughs> but nope. Of course he doesn't do that. Um, right, I do have a sword, I think. There we go. Yes, I, I did kill a Templar with a counter kill. So, there's that. Mission marker. Your next available missions are always shown on your map and the minimap. Right? I just got lamb's blood. <laughs> um. So. I think. I think my eagle vision is not working. Unless I moved it to a different key. I didn't actually check the controls before starting because I just assumed that they were the same. Okay, yes, that's the weapon wheel. I remember that. 
Air assassinate, press F to lock onto your target and press left mouse button to perform air assassination. Again, that's familiar. So, um, let's see. We can probably air assassinate him over here. And there we go. Um, more people in the vicinity. Where do they cut clocks like that? Isfahan? Uh, you have very poor peripheral vision, my friend. <laughs> and you're probably not going to look behind you either. Sure, let's loot these guys. Oh, uh, well, you are a little bit more observant than your colleagues, but you're going to die one way or the other. Okay, now let's loot. Well, it's money, I'm going to assume. I'm just not entirely sure about the currency of this money. Um, well, who are you? Be merciful, please. I am a working man with a family. Doing what kind of work? Digging mostly. It took me a year to find this chamber. And for the past three months I've been trying to break through this door. You've not made much progress. I have not made a dent. This stone is harder than steel. I doubt you will. This door is guarding objects more valuable than all the gold in the world. Oh, do you mean gemstone? <laughs> There are keyholes here. Where are the keys? These Templars found one beneath the Ottoman Sultan's palace. As for the others, I suppose the little book will tell them. What book? A journal of some kind. That ugly captain, he carries it with him wherever he goes. Go home. Find work with honest men. Oh, I would love to leave this place. But these men, they will murder me if I try. Pack your tools. <laughs> A journal of some kind. A mysterious journal has brought the Templars to Masya. Find the Templar captain and recover it. Full synchronization. Do not fail a single tale. Okay. Find the Templar captain and retrieve the journal. Alright. I guess I can do that. Um... But uh, hang on a second. I am I am confused by the lack of eagle vision. So I would like to check out if they changed the key bindings. They have. It's V. Well, that's new. Okay, okay, there we go. I I am Relieved that it's not broken, just just a different key. Okay, um, I guess we just have to get out of here now. But I can't, I can't activate eagle vision while walking. That's also new, and not exactly something that I enjoy. No, I have to. I have to do stand still if I want to activate it. That's kind of weird. Okay, before I go down there, um, let me have a quick look around. I think I very vaguely remember this from um, the first game. I mean, it's been a long time that I played it. But I think I remember this. So, can I do anything with um, this stuff? Um, well, kind of? I'm, I'm seeing ghosts. Hello, ghost. Hmm. 
so he picked something up. All right. Well, we have more shiny stuff. This is uh, where Al Mualem used to stand, I believe. Oh, more ghosts. Oh no, where did you go to? Um. Hmm. That was interesting. Okay. What's going on? What's going on here? <laughs> well, now he's just standing, listening, using a knife. I mean, he didn't have a pistol. It looked like he used a hidden pistol, but that uh, didn't didn't exist during his time huh okay well um that was interesting <laughs> not sure if if this is supposed to tell me anything uh, in particular but i don't see any more shiny stuff so i'm going to assume that i found everything can find here or can I like climb on top of the chandelier but I mean where would I go I don't I don't think I'm supposed to do that okay so um, after I wasted enough time here I guess I'm just going to move on uh, yeah this is just where I came from right Pretty sure this is where I came from. Okay, um, let's let's move on. The assassin must not get his hands on that book. When we reach Leandros, we will escort him out of the village. You stay behind and make sure we're not followed. Hmm. Okay. Um. Well, you see Templars. But I may as well avoid them. I mean, this guy is an easy target. Let's kill him. Oh, I got some medicine. That's good. Um, well, I'm not going through here, apparently. Um, well, these guys are not noticing me at the moment. I'm just going to ignore them. Count yourself lucky. Count yourself lucky that I didn't kill you. Um. Okay. Yeah, I probably have to kill these guys, though. Okay. Let's practice our sword skills again. Let's counter. They're not even attacking. You're rather terrible at your job, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, these guys aren't much of a challenge at all. I'm getting very interesting items. Phosphorus, sulfur. I can start a whole chemical lab with all of that stuff. Okay, um... I have to get on top of this tower, apparently. Yep. 
Use Ezio's parachute to reach the village. All right. Um, I think that's how you do it. Yes. So I have to follow that guy. I'm going to assume. Templars in village. Nine of nine. What does that mean? Anyway, let's drop off here. Um, can I make this jump? Oh yeah, I can make it. Okay, I'm, I'm going to assume that I just have to tail these guys now. I don't know what that nine of nine is supposed to mean, but um, I hope it's not important. No, no, Ezio, I don't want to use the ladder. I want to make sure that I don't lose my target. Hey guys, where are you going to next? Um, I guess I'm just going to move on straight forward, alright? Okay, um, I guess I made it. None of you leave until the assassin is dead. Do you understand? Signomi Kirilo but he seems to have found us. Panic! Panic! <laughs> what? What the hell are you doing, Ezio? I've been trying to be stealthy. You're ruining it. Oh, but I got 100% synchronization. Do not fail a single tail. Well, there only was one tail. Okay. Um. Well, this this isn't good. This seems very painful. Okay, I'm actually in control of this. Uh, well. Okay, um. This is an interesting start. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, this, this is not going well. Um. Okay. Die, you bastard! Oh, I have to. Try to climb up the rope, such as it is. Okay. Oh no, oh no, this is going to hurt. Uh, oh dear, oh dear. My health isn't doing so good. I should probably focus on not hitting any more stones. Yes, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. All right. Um, I think I'm I'm high enough on the rope now, so I should probably try not to hit any more stones and stuff because um, that looks like it's hurting a lot. <laughs> and the water. That's just great. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Um, uh, this isn't going well. Uh, did I make it? Okay, I made it. Ooh. Get closer. Closer. Move. <laughs> oh no, I'm I'm down again. No, not again. Don't don't okay, I don't have to do it again. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? You again. I have it! Oh no, oh no. Uh Car chase or a carriage chase right at the beginning of the game. Okay, so 
Um, I'm supposed to ram these guys. Uh huh. Well, let's see. What we can do here. Uh, his carriage is already pretty damaged. I think one more time and it's going to break. There we go. Um, oh, but uh, we have another one over there. The Templar Captain. Alright. Uh. Let's try this again. Oh, my carriage is not doing so well. This seems to be more stable, to be honest. I mean, my carriage is taken damage by just going over these stones um, so I should probably avoid that yeah this is not going to work nope nope this is this is not a good start of the game um, well let's see where are you going to put me now I hope I don't have to do this all over again Okay, just just the final part. Yeah, I think I got most damage because I went over rough terrain. So I should make sure I don't do this. Like this one over here. Um, is really damaging to my carriage. So let's try to avoid going through there. Oh, but he's totally trying to ram me into these stupid rough patches. I see what you're trying to do here. Okay, I need to avoid all of this stuff over here. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, did I make it this time? It was pretty close. Take this! Die, you bastard! Stop him! Stop him! Oh, great. <laughs> Well, no, my carriage is broken anyway. <sighs> um, well, a hard ride. No kidding. Do not take your eyes off this road for a moment. Do you understand me? Nothing gets through. Leandros! <laughs> Well, well. Look what crawled out of its hole to die. He's at death's door. Finish him off. <laughs> Bring me his head, or throw yourselves into the canyon. The wounded eagle, the Templar Captain Leandros, has left you to die. Find and kill him, then retrieve the journal. Kill at least five guards from a haystack. Okay. Um, well, first of all, I need to kill these guards, and he wasn't kidding when he said that I'm at death's door, because um, I have very little health left. So let's let's make it quick with these guys. There we go. Okay. Um, does any one of you have medicine, by any chance? I think I could use some. I mean, do I do I have some medicine? Maybe. I think I picked some up. No, I I don't have any. I thought I picked some uh, medicine from one of the looted bodies before, but um, I guess I lost it. <gasps> okay, so uh, here we are at death's door, and. I guess we need to get inside here and uh, 
find that Templar captain. But I think um, this is enough for the first episode. So let's make a cut here and we will continue this in the next episode. So as usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.